Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this general problem, they tell us that Haley is driving down a straight highway at 75 miles per hour, and a construction sign warns her that the speed limit will drop to 55 miles per hour and a half of a mile. What constant acceleration in meters per second will bring Haley to this lower speed in the distance available? So first off, since they want it in meters per second, we have to convert both her speed and the speed limit into meters per second. To do that, what we'll do is we'll have 75 miles and per means divided, so it's divided by one hour. So this is the same thing as the way they put it right here. Now what we wanna do is have miles on the opposite so that it'll cancel, and we want meters on the top. A very useful conversion factor to remember is that in one mile, it's 1609 meters. Now the miles are going to cancel and will be in meters per hour, so we need to convert the hour into seconds. And in one hour, there is 3600 seconds. Now the hours are kitty corners, so they'll cancel and we're in meters on the top, seconds on the bottom. So we'll take 75, multiply it by 1609 since on the top and divide it by 3600 since it's on the bottom. So we have 75 multiplied by 1609 divided by 3600. And that gives us 33.5 meters per second for how fast Haley's going. 33.5 meters per second. Now we need to do the exact same thing for the 55 miles per hour. We can rewrite it again, but let's just substitute the 75 for the 55. So we have 55, here, let's do this. So now we have 55, and that'll give us 24.6. So the speed limit, 55 miles per hour, is the same as 24. 6 meters per second. So now we have the speeds in standard units, but we need to convert the miles into standard units as well. There's a couple ways we can do this. One is let's take 0 0.5 miles and do the exact same thing we just did. Let's put it into meters. Mile is 1609 meters. So 0 0.5 times 1609 gives us 804.5 meters. Now, another way that you can do it if you're in the test and you get stuck is this calculator has conversion. So go second and eight for convert. So let's go to number one, English to metric. Now we're gonna come down here, miles to kilometers, 0.5 miles to kilometers, and that is 0 0.804, and we multiply that by a thousand to go from kilometers to meters. It's the exact same thing, 804 and we can round that to 805. So we have 805 meters for how long she has to stop. Now that we have everything in standard units, now we can use a kinematic equation to solve for it. We don't have any kind of a time, so we need to use the only kinematic equation that doesn't include time as one of the variables, which is v final squared is, this, is equal to v initial squared plus 2a times the change in the distance. We're trying to find what constant acceleration, so let's isolate A. So we'll move V initial squared over by subtracting it. So we have V final squared minus V initial squared is equal to 2A delta X. And then we'll divide both sides of the equation by 2 delta X to isolate A. So 2 delta X. So now acceleration is equal to V final squared minus V initial squared divided by two delta X. So now we just need to plug everything in. So let's go down to give us just a little bit more room. So now acceleration will be equal to the final velocity, which is the slower speed that we're slowing down to. So 24.6 meters per second, that will be squared minus the initial, which we found was 33.5 meters per second. It'll also be squared. We'll divide all of that by two times the delta x, which we found was 805 meters. 24.6 squared minus 33.5 squared divided by 2 times 805. 805. So that gives us a constant acceleration of negative 0.32. So she has to slow down by 0.32 meters per second squared to slow down in time 
or the distance that she has available in the construction zone.